Thanks for uh, tuning in to this episode of Capital Outdoors. We're on our way to the Let's Go Fishing Show in Collinsville, Illinois. And, uh, yeah, we got our seatbelts on them. Here we go. Yeah, can I get a um, a, uh, a McMuffin, a hash brown, and an ice mocha, please? Lee Sharp from Brush Pile Jigs. Lee, tell us a little bit about Brush Pile, how you guys are doing, and what you're what you're doing. You know, last time we saw you, you were in a little booth. Now you've got this big, great booth. Then. Right. So right. businesses must be doing good. Yeah, we did. We started a real small business. Uh, we only had a few small tables when we started. Just two colors, and as you can see, we expanded to 40 more Brush Pile here. Okay. And our booth, they've all got UV, they've all got glow in them. Uh, we've got some bigger displays. We've got a website, brushpilejigs.com. Brushpilejigs.com. We've also got a Facebook page, which is Facebook slash brushpilejigs. Okay. Uh, we've been doing this about five years now. We have expanded to add rods in our, our arsenal. We've got ACC crappie sticks. Andy Lane, one of the Red Lane fishing guides. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, he's making those rods, so we picked those rods up. And we've also got some brushpile fish attractants out of uh, Knoxville, Ohio. Okay. And that's the same name as our company, so we've got merged companies. And, I've seen if we can do a little bit of marketing with that. So. Fantastic. It looks like, how many different colors did you say uh, you had? We've got 40 per style right now. So we're trying to maintain so. Fantastic. Now, if you haven't checked them out on Facebook, you need to check them out. They're always updating their Facebook with different colors and, and stuff like that. Lee, it looks like everything is going well. Give them a look on their Facebook, brushpilejigs.com. Lee, we wish you the best of luck in 2016. You. Appreciate it. Buzzbait and the Jacob Wheeler Game Changer Buzzbait. Um, we also have our 
scooter jig line, which is the original Wobblehead jig, and uh, it is one of the only uh, skirted Wobblehead jigs on the market. Fantastic. And where are you based out of? We are based out of Indianapolis, Indiana. So you drove how long to drive was that? It was three and a half hours. All right. Well, welcome to Illinois. Do you have a website that you can tell the folks out there? Yes, we do. All of our products are on www.fishaccent.com. All right. Fantastic. And how about our Facebook page? Did you find your Facebook? Yep. We are also on Facebook and Instagram. Fantastic. Give them a check out. Buy some more. Help the little guys out. And, you know, uh, Brett, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. We're here with Matt, uh, who uh, has his own uh, prop shop. Matt, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, we're in Collinsville, Illinois. We uh, pretty much take your bent up, broken up props, redo them like brand new. Uh, we got probably about 150 props in stock uh, at all times. Hubs, pretty much anything you can do with a prop we got in stock, we can get done. I try to get everything done within a week. That way, if you break something out fishing, you know you. Have it by the next weekend, so that's uh, pretty much what we base our whole business on. It's just getting everybody back out to the water as soon as possible. Fantastic. Now, do you focus on just the, uh, the larger props, or do you do you know five, ten horsepower, or any type of props? Any, anything except towing. I don't do towing. People ask me that every now and then. All right. Well, fantastic, Matt. Do you have a website, the Facebook page? Um, we do have a Facebook page. It's just Matt's Prop Shop, um, and the website. Uh, I do not have a website. All right, well, give them a check out on their Facebook page. Uh, Matt, thank you very much, and best of luck this season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. This company is a dream of bait company. Cortland, tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, we're, we are a uh, pretty new company, started in January 2015, where we released um, the uh, specialized in hand injecting and specialized jigs and stuff like that. Uh, we just take stuff that's, that a lot of people use and make it a little bit better, how we, how we feel like it would be good for us. Um, All right, and uh, uh, where are you based out? We're out of uh, Bloomington, Illinois right now. We started in Canton. Fantastic. Do you have a Facebook page, website that uh, they can take a look at and Definitely. maybe order some of your, uh, your products? Definitely. Uh, check us out at www.dreambaits.com or uh, check us out on Facebook at dreambaits.com. Fantastic. What's going on? Well, How you doing? Check them out and um, see what you can't do and help Portland Williams out. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm here with Coach uh, Anthony from Greenville College. Coach, tell us a little bit about Greenville College Bass Fishing. Well, Greenville College Bass Fishing started about two years ago. Uh, we started with a team of eight, and it has grown ever since. Uh, I call it high output fishing. It's a Christian college, so it's Christian based uh, fishing as well. Uh, I love the sport. You guys love the sport. Trying to get them to the next level, and we're doing whatever it takes to get it done. Fantastic! And so, if someone, uh, what somebody is um, interested in joining the Greenville College Bass Fishing, or a little bit more about Greenville College, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, you can go to the Greenville College website. We have a bass fishing. Uh, underneath Club Sports on our website, go to that website and then you can log in and go from there. Fantastic. Well, give uh, Greenville College uh, uh, a check out. I know they have a Facebook page. And, you know, if you're interested in bass fishing on a college level, this is a great little community college, or not community college, but a great community with a college in it that you can fish in. We're still walking around the Let's Go Fishing show here in Collinsville, Illinois, and we stumbled across Damsel in Defense. And this is Karen. Karen, can you tell us a little bit about your company? Yes, Damsel in Defense has been uh, in business for four years, so we were founded by two stay-at-home moms. They met at a mom's group, and they wanted a non-legal form of self-defense for themselves and for their children. Um, Damsel in Defense is an awesome company. We donate to four different charities every month with the sales of our products. We have a lifetime warranty on everything. There is something for all ages and all, all genders. One of our favorite tools here, this is called our road trip flashlight. Okay, what does it do? This, um, did you call for me? No. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Our retro flashlight is a multi-tool flashlight. This, everybody needs to have something like this in their vehicle, in their homes, stage your homes, everything. Uh, you have a flashlight. It's 100% here. It drops down to 25%, and then they've added strobe. Okay, so it's, like so it's a easily, party. yes, easily uh, visible from a distance. Then you have red flashing beacon. If you're broke down at night, you can set this on top of your car, on the side of the car, with these magnets here. Oh, fantastic! Super, okay. super heavy duty magnets. Then you have a siren. You also have a seatbelt cutter right here. Oh, fantastic. And then the last thing is our window punch. It is spring loaded. You just push it against the window. It will shatter the window. It will allow you to be able to exit that vehicle if you're in a rollover or if you're submerged, things like that. Especially with the flooding that has happened recently, it is really, really important that you have something like this in your vehicle. Um, you don't want to put this in the glove box. You want to make sure that you have this somewhere where it's going to be easily accessible. I keep it in the door cubby of my vehicle with some with some Velcro because if I am in an, in, an, in an accident, it's going to go flying. I don't want that to go flying, but I want to be able to reach it, cut through my seatbelt, hunt break right that window, sound the alarm, and attract attention. So, so you got basically, what is it, six different? Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, so you got eight different um, tools in one. This is something that this, this is fantastic. Uh, Karen, do you guys have a website, Facebook page? We do. Uh, my website page is www.mydamspro.net forward slash pro four three two one. Renee is here. Uh, Renee, what is your what is your site? <laughs> www.net myinfopro.net forward slash pro six zero six two. You guys so much. You know, self-defense is becoming such a huge issue, um, not just here in Illinois, but across the country. Not just for men, but for women. And you know, it's, it, you always got to stay safe out there. And this isn't even a self-defense issue. This is a safety issue. And uh, what's the retail on this? The retail is $30 plus your tax and shipping. It's a lifetime warranty. Everybody needs to have one of these, whether it's for a house fire. If you are stuck in a house fire, the fire department is trained to look down close to the ground. So you put your strobe on, you put your siren on, and they can easily find you just by hearing that and seeing that. We also have the pepper sprays and the stun guns. Our, our Kubaton is a striking tool for your striking tool. So there are a lot of great items for men, women, and children. Yeah, so it's not gender specific. Well, check them out for 30 bucks. That's a great deal. And Karen and Renee, thank you guys so thank very you. much. <laughs> All right, so I was walking by and I stumbled across Gateway Bassingham. And here's Leslie Anderson to tell us a little bit about their club and organization and what they do. Okay, uh, Gateway Bass and Gals is a women's competitive bass fishing club. And it's most of it's from Missouri, we're kind of centrally located in St. Charles, Missouri. But, uh, we go all to all different lakes throughout Missouri and Illinois and we go to Kentucky Lake usually at least once if not twice a year. It's been in existence since about 1987. It's one of the oldest operational women's bass fishing clubs in the United States. Wow. One of the few, actually. There's a few, like some in Dallas, but really there aren't that many women's bass fishing clubs around. A lot of guys clubs, but not that many, very many women. Right, and that's what makes yeah, you so yeah, unique. Yeah, right. And it's for any woman who loves to bass fish, and you know, we fish for bass, large and small amount. But if you have any bass fishing, any fishing experience at all, bass, we'll, we'll teach you. You don't have to have a boat, you don't have to have a lot of experience. And like our first tournaments at Lake of the Ozarks, then we go to Stockton Lake, Kentucky Lake, Table Rock Lake, Blue Shoals, Palm de Terre, and King Cave, which is another one. And we usually stay together at one of the resorts, if you want to call them that. Um, and we try to cut expenses, and we do. We have boaters, we have non-boaters, and we're all competing against one another. So I have a boat, I'm in the front of the boat, but my non-boater could not have the front of the boat for part of the day also. We have decisions about the front of the boat, if she feels comfortable. A lot of the non-boaters don't feel comfortable. I would like everybody to run my boat or trail water if they want to. Um, and so we go out, some tournaments are one day, some days it's a random draw. So Leslie Anderson draws, you, Michael. <laughs> so Michael and I fish together for two days, okay. and we share, we look at the maps, we make decisions, and we're competing against one another, you know. So we go for our five bass a day limit, which is 
great if you get that, and that's pretty hard to do. Right, right. But anyway, and then so then you can we give out for first, second, third, fourth. I mean, it's not a big big money, uh, but and our entry fee is only twenty bucks, and our yearly club fee is only twenty bucks. Oh, so you can't beat that. Can't beat that. And it's a great way to get experience. It's a wonderful way to see these lakes. I can tell you, all the ladies are just wonderful. It's one of the best things. I had dreamed of bass fishing competitively because I have bass fishing since I was a little girl. For years, I dreamed of it. I was afraid. Of it. You know, I'm like, hello, can I be in your fishing club? And by the way, they're all men, and right. they have a boat. And so when I joined this club, I heard about it, but I was nervous to do it because it just it takes a lot of schutzball, schutzball, whatever that word is, mm -hmm. to, to join a fishing club. Right, right. And, they all, and it, our soap and entry, you just have to show up at the meeting, and you don't even have to join right away. You can do a tournament to see if you like it, okay. and then decide if you want to join. You have to pay the entry fee, but you have to join our club. Because a lot of ladies want to see what it's like, you know. And, and you can bring your husbands if you want. You can get your own unit at the resort. We're staying here and stay with all the ladies a lot. You can bring your pets and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's social, it's low pressure, it's a great way to get experience. And, you know, like I said, you can go for a year being a non voter, and then if you and your husband have a boat, or if you have a boat that you can use, or if you have your own way to vote, then you can come go as a boater the next year. So it's a great way to get experience, to spend time on the water. And what I really liked about it is some of these lakes like Stockton and, and Kentucky Lake and Palm de Terre, I'd never fished, but I'd always wanted to. Mm -hmm. So once I joined the club, I did all the tournaments, and um, I've been in the club now for 14 years. Oh, and I absolutely love it. And I do a national tour also called the LBAA, a new women's tour, Lady Bass Anglers Association. I do some of those tournaments also. And does uh, does the Gateway Bass and Gals have a, a website and a Facebook yes, page? Do. Yes, they do. We have a our, our website is all in the oh, It's www.gatewaybassandgals.com. Gatewaybassandgals.com. You'll find it. Okay, fantastic. And Facebook too? Uh, do we have a Facebook page? I don't know if we do. Yeah, we do. We do? Okay, just look for it on Facebook. You'll find it. But if you, if you want to, you know, if you just show up, we have our meetings the first Wednesday of every month um, at Rookie's Bar and Grill in St. Charles. So, actually, it's a new town or whatever. So, if you just show up, you're welcome to do it. If you have any questions, please uh, look us up online or look us up and, and contact Mary Lipka, our president. I'm the vice president, Leslie Anderson, and we'd be happy to answer any questions you want. So ladies, there's no excuse right, to beat your there. men. Get out right. there, fish, Come have on. some fun, maybe win some money, right. and, and be a part of something a little bit bigger and just enjoy the outdoors, right. and that's what it's really all about. And it's so fun. You need to get away from the kids and husband sometime anyway, right? Did, right, Heather? We all know about. you need to get away right. from them. Right, you gotta so. get away. Okay. Leslie, thank, thank you so thank much, you so and much. you guys have a great season. We will, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, so I'm with Jimmy and Dave here with uh, Red Hot's Custom Lures. Uh, they're on Pro Staff. Why don't you guys tell us a little bit about your uh, your lure here? I, I walked by and it looks it just has a great profile. Great. Okay. We started. It's called the piggyback. We have two types. It's called the craw hog. Is what we started with. Simple little finesse bait that we designed. It's been about this is the third year for it. And then uh, thought, well, let's add a little bit more flash to it. So we called up, come up with the boss hog. And we put these on jigs and it replaces the plastic or the weed guard with the plastic. So Jimmy has one here that's rigged up, I'd like to show you, on a football head. This is on a half ounce football head. As Dave said, it replaces the weed guard. And basically all you do is slide it up on here. It has a little hole to keep it. Get your bait to lay straight. And then basically just like you would a Texas rig. Bury that point in there. Now you have a totally weedless bait, but you don't have the brush guard there. So where the fish bites down on that, he's getting all bait, he's not getting brush guard, he's going right into him. Um, we have a couple different styles. We've got a 3 8 half ounce, 3 quarter, or 1 ounce of uh, football heads. We also have, new for this year, is a swim bait. Oh, fantastic. And it's basically the same deal. We've got a swim bait that we're going to come out with. It still gives you the weedless with the piggyback. Just some really cool stuff. And, and do you guys have a website? So if people are interested in buying your, your lures, can they check you out on Facebook? Or where are you guys at? Absolutely. We're on Facebook, and we do have a website. It's www.redhotcustomlures.com. And uh, we have a store open, and love to have you place orders. And we do custom colors. So... Uh, 
we have replaced seven colors that people can't find, so they just send us a picture or a bait. And uh, Brian Pearson, the other owner, um, who started the company and uh, does a phenomenal job on putting those together. So fantastic. Hey, if you're you know, looking for a different lure, I, you know, uh, I was watching these guys jig it, the, the, the presentation and just how big uh, of a profile this thing gives, gives uh, something different that you may not see out, in, uh, out on the lake. So give them a check out at uh, redhotcustomlures.com, right? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. The best of luck in 2016. Yes, you thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate Enjoy it. the rest of the show.